page 18, Ladybug. I'll go through the routine I used to learn a piece of music and we'll see what we end up with. I look it over, I see it's four lines long. I like to have an idea of how long things are. The clef signs, treble and bass clef. I always check them because they don't have to be treble and bass. For now, what we're going through, they'll always be there, but I want the habit of always checking the clef signs. It's got one sharp in the key signature, we're in the key of G major. Four, four time signature. I see a bunch of quarter notes, half notes, whole notes, dotted half note, they're all here. No eighth notes though. The hands are sort of playing at the same time, so I'm going to take one hand at a time first to make sure I know what it's doing. And then I'll try putting the hands together. So the right hand, you're starting out with third finger on B here, so that puts you in this position. I know there's A sharps, but they're accidental. The hand position is according to the key signature. And in G major, this is the hand position. When I need the A sharp, since second finger's on A, I'll move it up to the A sharp when I need it, but it's not part of the hand position. So it's at the beginning, here. So much for that. Let's go down to the third line. We're here. Now, the B flat, and you're thinking, well, the third finger's on B, so I'm going to use it on the B flat. And normally, yes, I would. However, I'm already using third finger, so I'm going to have to use second. It's going to have tempo. I mean, that could have been an A sharp they wrote in there. But harmonically speaking, to keep it right with theory and all that junk, needs to be a B flat. So it's the same note on the piano. Just go ahead and use second finger. Rest, rest. And then we get the A sharp. Same notes. Okay. Left hand. Well, you're starting out with here and here, so that puts your hand here. And it's the whole note. One, two, three, four. And the next measure. One, two, three. One, two, three. Rest. And that's the last two measures of the second line. Same thing, except now we get a B flat. Since the third finger's on B, I'm going to use it on the B flat. Okay. Third line. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, here, and again, second figure's on C, I'm going to use it on C sharp. One, two, three, rest, okay. Last two measures. Two, here. We're back to this one note to two notes. I'm just shifting weight from one finger to two fingers. It's just a slight roll here, boom, boom. That's all it is. I just lower which fingers I want the weight to be on, but the weight is pushing the notes down. I'm not holding the head still and trying to use the fingers, is what I'm saying. And if the notes won't go down at the same time, focus on the note that's late. Here it's this one. Try and focus on that. And then let the other finger do whatever. In most cases, that'll fix it. They'll start going down at the same time. Then I'll put the hands together. Well, at the beginning, it's, that left hand just got a hole up here. One, two, three. Okay. Third line. A little more here. It's one, two, three, four. Now they're together. One, two, three, rest. So I put the hands together, then I go back over it slowly and carefully, and I get rid of the hesitations, steady beat, and then I'll add the articulation. Here it's pretty connected. You're going to lift up between the phrases. So in the second measure, the first line, it's here. You lift, don't connect them. No, lift up, just lift up. It's like taking a breath. Second line, same thing. It's the second measure, the second line. Lift up. You're just cutting the half note a little bit short so you can lift up. And the third line, we're doing it each measure. Lift up. Lift up. Okay, so lift up between the phrases, otherwise you're connecting it. Then the dynamics. MP at the beginning is mezzo piano, which is sort of soft, and that's the melody. Whatever you think this is, it's not soft, it's just sort of soft. This, 
very soft, it's in the background. Now on the left hand is melody, it's the So when the left hand gets the melody, it's got to be the same as what the right hand was doing. And in the third line, you have an MF. That's a forte, is moderately loud. And here it's kind of both hands. Last line, you're going to sort of echo that. And they come down to moderately soft. See, so moderately soft is only a little softer than moderately loud. It's not, but it's softer. Both hands. And then the last two measures, I think it's the right hand. That needs to be moderately soft. The left hand needs to go down to very soft. Yeah. Then the speed. Well, not fast or slow, just in the middle. Somewhere in there. Everybody would do it a little different, and that's beautiful. I think everybody should do it a little different. We don't want everybody playing all this the same. Feel it. My feeling for now, I play it different every time I play it. You you get into it. You feel remember the natural accents? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One. To feel the natural accents. I'm exaggerating to so you can hear them better, but really you just feel them. Let's play this together very slowly. Now this is after you've learned it. You can play the notes and rhythms okay, no hesitations. I will just check to make sure you have all the right notes at all the right time. I'm not going to do the louds and softs. I will lift up between the phrases though, and I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go. Rest. Mm -hmm. 